Do you want to make your email look more professional and trustworthy? Well, stick around, because in this video, I will show you how you can connect a custom domain to your business email on Apple Mail in just a few simple steps. All right, let's get started. So speaking of business emails, we can all agree that this email address looks more professional than this one. Am I right? The main difference between them, as you can see, is the word past the at sign. One of them contains gmail.com a free email provider we all know, and the other one, jewelryshop.com, which is a personal domain name. So if someone wants to get this kind of email address for their jewelry shop, they need to buy an email hosting service and then set up a custom domain and email address. So let me show you how you can do that. But just keep in mind that if you already have a hosting or web hosting plan, you won't need to purchase anything additional because the plan already includes an email address and a domain name. So if that's the case and you just want to learn how to set up Apple Mail, go ahead and skip to the later chapter in this video. All right, so in order to purchase the email hosting plan, go to the description below this video and click on the first link. And hello there, two different email plans are there for your choosing. You'll notice that the business email hosting plan offers more storage, so grab it if you think your mailbox is going to be full in no time. Okay, after selecting the plan, you must decide on the duration and mailbox count. Just pick what's best for you, but note that the longer the plan, the more you will gradually save. Oh, and if you want to save even more, you can type in our code HA10 over here and it will give you an extra 10% off your purchase. Then just register a new account or log in with an existing one and finish the payment. All right, once the payment plan is in your pocket, you'll automatically start the guided setup process. So let me guide you through it. The first thing you'll need to do is choose the domain name that goes after the at sign, as I mentioned before. Here you're presented with three options. You can pick the domain name you already have from Hostinger, and then the email setup will be completed automatically. You can also use a domain name you previously bought from another registrar like GoDaddy, for example, though in that case, the domain setup will be manual. Or if you don't have a domain name, you can purchase one right now by selecting buy a domain over here. Let me show you how you can do it. Here you'll need to enter the domain name and its extension to see if it's available. Now, guys, if you already have a strong domain name in mind that represents your business and is also available, congratulations, you have this easy. But if you haven't figured out a good name or yours is occupied, please take some time and don't rush it. If you're stuck on finding a perfect name, our domain name checker tool has a handy AI feature that can help you come up with a great name. Just give it a short description and you'll have a custom domain in no time. Let us know in the comments if it helped you out. Okay, so once you've figured out a good name, make sure not to leave any typos when registering it. Another thing to keep in mind is that you don't need to add www. in your domain name. The domain name should be domainname.com and not www.domainname.com. But what if you finally figured out a perfect domain for your email and it's already taken? Well, don't worry, you don't always need to change the whole name. Often, switching the domain extension works just fine. For example, if yourbusiness.com is taken, try yourbusiness.co or yourbusiness.net. You can also explore newer extensions like .io or .shop that might fit your brand. A small tweak can still give you a professional and memorable email address. Now, once you've settled with a name and extension, click on Buy Now and register the domain by filling in your details. The next step is setting up your account. Just add your name and think of a strong password. Use a password manager or have it written down somewhere safe as you won't find it visible on your account. You will need it to set up an email on Apple Mail or any other application. Okay, the next step is to connect your business email to Apple Mail. So click on connect devices and then choose recommended apps. Select Apple Mail and you'll see that there are two ways to do this, automatic and manual. Let's start with the automatic way, which will do most of our work. As you can see, you may scan the QR code or download the profile. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Once that's done, go to the system settings, then privacy and security, and scroll down to the very end where the profile button lies. You should find the downloaded profile data over there. Just click on it and then hit install. Then enter your email account password over here and that's it. Just know that if your domain is new, it might take up to 24 hours for the records to be completely set up and for the email to work properly. So take a well-deserved break before sending your first email. Now, if the automatic setup doesn't work for some reason or you prefer to do it manually, just select the manual setup option. 
you'll see some email details below which you'll need to set up your email on Apple Mail or any other mailing app. So go ahead and open up your Apple Mail. If you're sending up email on Apple Mail for the first time, you'll start by choosing the email provider. If you already have another email account, go to the top left, click on Mail and then on Add Account. For the provider, select Other Mail Account and then type in your new email address and password, which I hope you didn't forget, right? Right. Once you do that, this thing will pop up saying it's unable to verify your account name or password. But don't worry, it will verify you soon enough. You just need to provide the incoming and outgoing mail servers. So let's jump back to your email hosting account. Here you will see these server names. So just copy them and transfer them to the table. Leave the username untouched as it will generate automatically. Then select the apps you want to use this account for and hit done. It might take a moment for it to sync, but once it's done, you'll be able to use it. Now, like with the automatic setup, you may also want to wait a little bit before sending emails as a new domain can sometimes take up to 24 hours to fully set up and be ready for action. No matter which way you use, the email should now be working. But before sending important business emails to your customers or business partners, you'd first want to test it out. So try sending an email for yourself first. Type in your personal account and hit send. Now let's check it if I've got the letter and yep, here it is. I'm going to reply so I know that I am also able to receive emails. And as you can see, it works just fine. By the way, Hostinger also sends a welcome email as a way for the user to see if their mailbox is set up correctly. So if you see it in your inbox, then you should be all set. And all right, we're all done here. You're now an official owner of a fancy business email address. And it wasn't that hard, was it? Now, if you need any help setting up your email on Outlook, we've got a video covering that too. So make sure to check it out. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.